Dude, back again, shouting out open minded folk. So we had a request to do Olane again. That's right. Unknown, uh -oh. unknown live session. Okay. So this was put out a year ago, or probably maybe a year and a half, two years, going on two years. It's about half a million views on it. Request. I have like ten or fifteen likes. So. Nice. that guitar right there bro <laughs> I think that guy's playing guitar damn whoever that is and yeah my my bad like I was slipping Claude kind of told me a while ago but uh, Endgame is Andy and also Inspiel he goes by those other aliases in his music so Andy Panda is Endgame and he's also Inspiel which was like a recent reaction I put out with him and Miyagi. Well, I mean, Endspiel uh, might be Tomato. Endgame in whatever language. Well, somebody commented. Yeah, someone, yeah. Someone left in the comments, uh, this name equals this name equals Andy Panda. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like, all right, thanks, man. I even, like, commented back and shit. Right. I was, like, for a second, I'm like, it has to be. Is it someone else? And that's, like, the beauty of music and shit. Like, you don't know sometimes. And especially not knowing how to speak. You know, you know how to speak Russian and shit. You're gonna, yeah. Education. It's needed. When I was talking inside, they sort of yeah, is out of my mind. Ole. Do you believe in gospels or sects? There are people gonna live away crying. Oh man, I'm walking late. You make your chill so popular. You know I was a corner of friend In the world of souls like a money pool Do everything in a press They're gonna test you Take off your phone and let's get started Oh yeah, okay We reacted to This shit before Did we? I remember, I rec listen to those lyrics I recognize those words like Do everything in a press They're gonna test you yeah, but the, he's it, we, it's been in some song that we reacted to that they that he's done. This is just the live. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, okay. this is the live show. Live. This is pretty, uh, pretty good. Solo, just I'm waiting for the, guitar. the. You know, I clicked on the captions. Oh, there won't be any. YouTube needs to improve that shit. Everything I press you, they're gonna test you. Take on your phone and then let's get started. Jump over here, jump over here. Hey, everything I press you, they're gonna test you. Take on your phone and then let's get started. Jump over here, jump over here. Do everything I press you. That's really all you need. That dude's voice is friggin'. That room he's in. Like, it's really good. Like, Dude, yes. Yeah. That room that he is that, in ooh, sound, ooh, sounds ooh, incredible, like, too. Wow. The acoustics in that room are incredible. And you really, that's all you need at the end of the day is just you and a guitar. There's been so many musicians that are just them and their guitar. No, you know, maybe they jam with some other, you know, like drummer bass and shit but but that i mean for the most part it's just them and that the tone of voice though is so hard to sing in and he's yeah. doing it you know what i mean and like killing, he's he's this is really well killing, sung, killing well that played. rhythm on the guitar yeah. too like those chords and shit yeah he's right on point because i would have guessed there was somebody playing guitar and he's gonna sing over it but yeah he's obviously <laughs> live you know? at, at first i thought it was andy because he kind of he has a little bit you know similar features in his face but uh but oh no, that's I've just never seen him before, you know. 
right? And someone had a request too. We'll have to get to. Uh, they want us to do a Miyagi concert reaction. Yeah. So that would be good. Yeah, I know you guys will enjoy that. Jump away, jump away. Like a fucking, not his voice. I know no, that's that. a trumpet. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was trying to think. With of. like a, that's what I was trying to think. With a plunger at the end of it. My mind wanted to say harmonica oh, for a while. What? <laughs> Dude, that's a trumpet, bro. What the fuck? But instantly I knew it wasn't. Wild. In, as soon as he did it, I'm yeah. like, oh my god, he's you, like, you, you hear the sound and you're like, that's incredible. <laughs> Held that to like the third beat, fourth that's, beat. That's uh, yeah, it's incredible. They were there the whole time. It was just in the, you know. That's, that's a cool idea for a video. Yeah. Like everything's dark as shit. You get the and front then, man guy. They're performing this. And you get the front man dude, and then you like got the, yeah. And all of a sudden you're like, what the fuck? The band's been there the whole time. <laughs> Surprised. This guy's talented as fuck, man. Like, just to be on their roster, on Hajime Records roster, you have to like have. You know, if you don't, if you ain't get that next level shit down yet, you better work on it to get there. If you want to be part of their, their team, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Like whatever your so fun. Like, your skill is. That's like, your job. Yeah, dude. Because like even Amazing. like Andy and Miyagi's voices are, obviously, we're huge fans of just their, voice inflictions. You don't even have to understand what these motherfuckers are saying. It's just incredible because yeah, the way they can syncopate their voices, but also just it's just so they have so many levels of charisma in their voice and just they're just talented motherfuckers. Yeah, you know, the way like, they're playing. The I never. That's really yeah. I mean, they're uh, it's just incredible. Like mouth I never trumpets. I never dude. Mouth, I never heard mouth trumpets. Like I never heard dudes with like those, that's so fun in music that have done it like that you know what i mean except for them it's times like this and where like this is why i listen to music like most people yeah. watch sports you know especially discovering shit that you're like you would never have known of you know we've said that many times on this channel because it's true it's yeah it's i never uh, would have heard this song you guys want to turn this on to russian hip-hop and shit or yeah. any of these artists from other parts of the world yeah we would have no clue still just like mf doom like our very first reaction i think was one of them was, I think, Doomsday was one of the first ones. And that song is just, you know, it's clap. You listen to, like, one of his greatest tunes yeah, it's from just, his he's early projects. Yeah. Early project that right away you're going to be hooked. So, like, it's I same thing. Like, I don't have, like, a specific song of the MF Doom. It's, like, the all one <laughs> song. Because it's Even such a... his other projects dude, and shit, like... Such a fucking legendary character. And these guys too, man. These guys have created. I just like his style. It's sitting yeah. and listening and watching. It's like, but it's these... like watching a series, and you, nobody really yeah. has their favorite series, favorite episode, but they have favorite parts within the whole series, right? And like, yeah. But even the Hajime guys, like I've said before, their music reminds me of like just the music itself. It's like hip hop, Pink Floyd kind of like the <laughs> when they'll go with those like super delay sounds and like. These super echoey shit, like yeah. on their vocals or whatever it is, it's 
the production is so fucking good and it there it's it's such their sound and yeah. then they have all these crazy things they can do with their voice on top of that like i'm just I'm still blown away by that shit because there's like who is that with that crazy baritone and then you'll hear like a distant like miyagi will switch it up or whoever and it's like a distant uh take like vocal take but it just sits perfect in the whole mix yeah it's like how what the fuck out there that still hold down the live instruments on stage shit you know the, the guy with the guitar and the bassist and the, who else they got on there they got a guy on keyboards I don't know it's a tiny little keyboard thing it's only like that one and this is one key <laughs> it's just so like you're gonna board of keys it's not it's even like it's like uh, if you were to buy like probably like a like middle uh, C, like a kid's C a kid's drum. electric guitar where the neck is like way shorter. Yeah. So you're missing. Yeah, you're only getting like so many of the notes. Or First whatever, key. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's just it's dope as shit. Like you got people up there killing it on the, the instruments, man. And it's it's cool too to see like even like a DJ, like their DJs are talented as fuck. Like the, especially the ones that are up there and their timing is so impeccable and they're like spinning around and catching the shit behind their back and that shit too is just as equally yeah fucking crazy man it, that's the skill like that's some crazy musician shit and you're still hearing just the song you know <laughs> and your timing has to be even more i think even more on point like even us as guitar players me and claude it's like when i see it like some dj crazy shit and i'm like how the fuck like, just to know, like, to not fuck the timing up. You know how many years that must have took? Especially for, like, legendary dudes like DJ Premier and shit to, like, to really get that shit down. Yeah. Like, every single day, like, just the same until way you get it down. At least. It's like Nico McBrain from Iron Maiden, like, re refusing to use a double kick pedal. And especially when he was first, like, on Flight of, or uh, Peace of Mind album. Yeah. His first one. Just every day he would just work on it until he got you know he'd get faster and faster with one foot and just faster it's just <laughs> yeah it's insane it's what you do you just gotta work at it so
So they just now. This shit's not positive. <laughs> it's just too like we have to talk about this shit. Like the, like okay, like ten or fifteen seconds ago, they just start showing that there's people in the room. Yeah. Watching this shit. It doesn't surprise me. <laughs> At the beginning, like. And all of a sudden, there's a guy playing this fucking sax solo, but he's in like the he's in the crowd, kind of. Yeah. seen a video like that ever and that's brilliant i love it when that happens you brilliant. Know, when i see brilliant. a video i've never seen before like no one's ever done it before or after like nobody yeah, mouth trumpets dude that's <laughs> incredible man it's just genius at work shout out to the hajime production <laughs> Credits, man. There's a lot of people working on this. Thing. Stereo static static. up in the comments that was a good one i didn't uh that was a good request yeah Thanks, that, was, that was excellent more that like was, that yeah amazing crazy brilliant performance i mean it sounded like he mashed up some of his songs kind of in like a seven eight seven and a half minute you know or it At was like two. it was like six something but yeah because as soon as he said that other shit, and then he said jump overhead, oh yeah, we reacted to that like a month ago. Jump overhead. Yeah. Live? No, nah, it was a studio recording of that song. We were? We Yeah, we reacted. Live? No. No? Oh, no, no, it was... Uh, I think we were, I think it was in a live. No, I, I think I put it out as a, it was a just a recorded, like a edited video that... As far as the production and shit. Well, I mean, yeah, we just put out Tomata, but we did that one live too. Before we put Tomata out. Oh like yeah, okay, see what you mean. Yeah, there's been many like that. <laughs> I didn't done... realize it. I didn't realize <laughs> We've done a lot of live. Like, I'm looking at the thumbnail on Dude. YouTube, and I'm like, Tomata. We did Tomata live. I you can't. I can't keep up with it. And sometimes. then I listen. And I'm like, wow. We had to a no certain clue. point. We had no clue that. We had done it live like a week ago. We've weeks. done like so many live reactions that are over it's half. Like he's in January. <laughs> it was over like a half hour ago. Once I get to like over a half hour, the live reactions, then I, I lose track of what we reacted to. And once we get like five, six songs in, it's like okay, I'd have to go back and check and shit. But and we've got like probably a hundred live reactions that are 30 40 minutes an hour so check those out everyone sure 
There's a lot. We got all kinds of playlists, so we're out.